In Candace, police say there's been hundreds of shell casings collected from the streets over the past few weeks. Detectives working dozens of cases, and before they can solve one, another one pops off. Raw emotion from a gun battle in her South Side community. Crime Insider sources tell me three young men were shot in broad daylight on Lamar Drive Friday. One is critically injured. Homes are also hit by gunfire, including nine-year-old Jordan Tucker's. But you know what's messed up? Hmm? My friend was not one of my friends over here, and I don't know if they're all right or not. That's and he was taking care of me and everything. It's you know? okay. It's okay. It's like you just never know, so it is sad, you know, and to not know if his friend is okay. The trauma almost too much for him to shoulder. It scared me. No, you can't play on, on my heart. And the fact that my friends can't even come outside to play because all this other stuff is going on, it's crazy. As for the gun battle here, Crime Insider sources say at least 30 rounds were fired, eerily similar to scenes playing out across the city and Henrico County for the past three weeks, police say. Councilman Mike Jones says he wants to talk to the chief of police. They feel abandoned. They, they, they do. They've called into Third Precinct. They've made different calls about different activity that they've seen out here, and they don't feel as if they got the response necessary until something like this happened. Crime expert Steve Neal says the increase in drive-by shootings could be all about personnel. The Richmond police, for example, have been busy with riots and protests. Uh, they've had issues with personnel and manpower. And then, of course, you've got the issue of the police. Uh, where some police agencies are not being as aggressive, some officers are not. So when that happens, of course, the bad guy is emboldened. Could it be a, a manpower issue, man, where I've been told, you know, the past couple months, basically platoon comes on and they say, oh, you have to go here to riots, you have to hit the street. No, this, this has been going, this, this predates that. And so I, I even asked them that. They were like, no, this is stuff that has been going on. I will request the calls for service for the Lamar Drive area and bring a future update. Neil also tells me there's a lot of forensic work going on behind the scenes to see if similar shell casings are hitting the streets in these diff different shooting episodes. Working for you tonight, John Burkett, CBS 6 News.